Hey guys, it has been a busy week. The food services, transportation, and technology departments have been working nonstop on our feeding program that today included both on-site and meal delivery to those families who don't have access to transportation. The South Jefferson Backpack Program partnered with food services, the transportation department, and our teaching staff to get the first of our backpack, our weekly backpacks, dropped off to families in need. We may need to scale back on daily deliver deliveries, and if we do, we will ensure that enough food will be dropped off to cover the missed days of delivery. We are going to let the first few days of next week play out and adjust as we go, and we'll keep you updated every step of the way. Even if we scale back on deliveries, we will continue to operate daily food pickup at each of our three sites. Teachers and administrators, have been very busy preparing educational materials that will be coming to each household tomorrow. Our buses will be leaving the high school tomorrow at 11 and running their routes to stop at each household and drop off these materials. We ask you for much patience with this process. Our district covers 200 rural square miles and serves 1,891 students. Buses may be stopped for longer than usual as they make their way to each home. The weather does not look to cooperate as it's calling for rain, but I guess that's better than snow. Teacher and staff volunteers will be joining our drivers and helping with this massive undertaking. The materials will complement any online opportunities children may be taking advantage of. If you're home between 11 and 1.30 or so tomorrow, please keep a lookout for the bus at your house. If you do not have a bin, tote, or something that's weather resistant that we can put the materials in, um, if you don't have that at the end of your driveway, please come out to the bus to get the materials. If you are not home tomorrow, between 11 and 1.30 or so, we will contact you and plan for you to pick up your child's materials early next week. The online family resource survey is closed We've been calling families that did not respond to the survey. Tomorrow and next week, we will continue calling families and making outreach. We will assess the technology needs and plan for getting devices into the hands of families that need them the most. Stay tuned for more information on that. Our buildings and grounds team continues their tireless efforts in cleaning and disinfecting our buildings. Over the weekend, I will work on plans, given the new mandate from the governor of having only 25% of our staff in the building. We will continue to partner and rely on guidance from public health. We will continue to learn from our food service and educational efforts to make those even better over the coming days and weeks. We will, as always, continue to keep the safety and well-being of our children at the forefront of all of our decisions. Have a great night.